Um, some of the run concepts you'll see from Minnesota are similar to what y'all saw from Cleveland earlier in the season. What did you learn from that game that you can apply this week? A, a, a big learning lesson from from the Cleveland game was alignments. Um, there were so many there were there were so many plays where we just weren't aligned correctly. Um, had nothing to do with the uh, efforts or um, the lack of physicality or any anything of that nature. It's just a matter of it's a numbers game. Um, if we get the numbers right, uh, we love our chances. So uh, it's a big it's a big att- attention to detail this week um, in getting ready to, for a physical battle. Say it, say it again. Starting with you in terms of communicating with everybody else to get the alignment ready. How big is that for you, especially this week? It's huge. It's huge for me, um, especially you know call, calling the defense. Um, if I don't understand it, how can everyone else? Uh, so it's just a matter of extra work, uh, extra detail, and understanding what all my guys need to do, what I need to do. Um, and then relaying that message uh, in a timely manner to where we can get lined up and go play. Uh, so it definitely, definitely starts with myself. What's the like number back? Um, what, what's the like yep. coming back? Oh. <laughs> what's the like coming back from the bye? Do you get an extra energy and boost? I mean, to, to, to get back at this thing after a week away? Absolutely. Um, getting, getting a week off of being able to allow our bodies to heal and our our minds and souls, uh, but but also you know before the bye week, the game we had versus Pittsburgh, uh, just a lot of momentum, uh, uh, so many great things uh, that we done that, that we did in that game uh, to be able to win that game. Um, obviously late, a, cu- a couple bad calls on, on, uh, on my on my end, um, you know that that kind of flipped the game. But you know for 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 us, it's just about building on top of that. And looking forward to this opportunity. Dallas Cook has the highest rushing grade versus stacked fronts, according to PFF. What makes him so difficult for defenses to contain? Say it again. Dalvin Cook has the highest rushing grade versus stacked fronts, according to PFF. What makes him so difficult for defenses to contain? Uh, Dalvin's uh, elusiveness, uh, being able to make any cut, um, his patience, um, allowing his blocks to develop. And then from there, I think just his heart. And, and, and for us, you know, I've played him a couple of times, played him in college and got a chance to play him last year. And it's just about learning. It's about learning. It's about, it's about, the, it's about us. It's about the guys. It's about us preparing and, and getting ready to, to stop this, this high-powered offense. Uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Uh, no, no shying down. It's just all about preparation. Despite the record, are you surprised you still in it in the division, especially if you win on Sunday? Absolutely. Um, our, our focus is one game at a time. It's a one-game season. Uh, we have went on streaks before, um, but we got to control what we control, and, and, and this week is all that matters right now. We got to get this win. It's just about narrowing, narrowing in those details. It's about narrowing in those details. Uh, but the one thing you don't, one thing you can't do is, is stop your competitiveness and your fight. Um, and, and, and from there, you just got to go. So that's really our focus is uh, continuing to prepare the right way, uh, understanding our techniques. And then on Sundays, you just got to go out there and ball. And, and whatever happens, happens. So uh, no regrets on, on our ends. I really it may go without saying, but how would you characterize Demarcus's value as a run defender for your team, for your defense? I think it's huge. Uh, it's a it's a big reason why he's make uh, he's making the bucks he's making. Um, being able to pass for us, being able to stop the run, uh, attention to detail. Uh, I definitely love having him on my corner. He he makes a, a lot of it easier for me. Your guys' meeting rooms are a lot different right now because of intensive protocol, and that's the way it'll be for the rest of the season. How 
if at all, do you, does that require an adjustment as a player in terms of how you're picking up information when it's being delivered in a, a pretty spaced out classroom setting? It has no effects on everything we're doing. We're blessed to have this um, multi, multi million dollar, billion dollar facility and area. Um, so it just requires a little more walking uh, to get to our meeting rooms, but uh, the information is, is received well. the role that you play, the, the position you play, that you know they're not trying to trick you, that you're just, they're going to come out and want to run it and run it a lot behind that line and that running back? Absolutely. Uh, you, know what, you know what you're going to get. Um, it's, like I said, it's about aligning correctly, and it's about bringing our, our physicality and our, and, and our intensity, uh, and that's what we're focused on. Uh, we're looking forward to, to a battle. Precise communication, um, and then from from there, it's about getting our feet in the dirt uh, and getting our eyes um, in the right area, and then we can play ball. Uh, 